Media reports suggest that the CIA and other U.S. agencies have been secretly supporting Syrian rebels under the approval of President Obama. The secret order has allegedly been signed earlier this year with the purpose of ousting President Assad. Let's now cross live to Brian Becker, the director of the Answer Anti-War Coalition, for more on this media leak. Mr. Becker, thank you for being with us. First, let's get right to it. The order authorizes secret support for the Syrian rebels. What kind of support are we talking about here? Well, the United States military and intelligence services are, as we know now from the U.S. government admission, uh, been coordinating through Turkey, through a U.S. military air base. These are all, you know, Turkey is a NATO country. The military operations for the so-called Free Syrian Army, the Syrian uh, so-called revolutionaries. And it's clear now that this is not a, a shift in terms of U.S. strategy. It doesn't represent any kind of alteration. All that it does is reveal that the diplomacy, the so-called diplomacy, the so-called looking for a negotiated settlement is a fraud, that the diplomacy is in fact a form of perjury, that the reality is that the U.S. government, the Obama administration with the Pentagon and the CIA have been uh, neck deep coordinating the military operations to overthrow a sovereign government in Syria. Now, we don't have a lot of information of what's actually happening on the ground. How big of an impact could this covert U.S. assistance even bring to the opposition? Well, I think it's a decisive impact. It's, a, it's, a, it's dominating. If it hadn't been for foreign interference, military interference, pumping military arms, and now we see uh, they're, they're equipping the Free Syrian Army with uh, surface-to-air missiles, uh, shoulder-held surface-to-air missiles and other high-tech equipment. If it hadn't been for foreign intervention, there would be no civil war going on in Syria. The decisive factor in the equation of, of, of civil war is U.S. military intervention. We know this now. And I would say, frankly, the Obama administration is guilty of war crimes against the Syrian people, having manipulated, cynically manipulated the situation. And they have the blood of the Syrian people on their hands. That's the reality, in spite of the fact that they try uh, relentlessly to portray the Syrian government as the sole perpetrator of violence in Syria. Now, it's interesting that the Obama administration is involved at all, almost a conflict of interests, if you will, given that even Germany has confirmed that al-Qaeda has infiltrated opposition forces. Does this mean that the CIA has been fighting alongside terrorists? Well, of course, but that's nothing new. Let's face it, Osama bin Laden, as we know, this is not rhetoric, this is confirmed fact, was on the CIA payroll in Pakistan when they were carrying out the, gov the uh, armed struggle against the socialist government in Afghanistan and later the Soviet intervention there. Uh, Osama bin Laden and later al-Qaeda, these operatives have been working uh, side by side with the CIA for a long time. That doesn't mean they're always working with the CIA. That doesn't mean that there's not contradictions between them, but the U.S. has no problem Problem working alongside uh, Al Qaeda and other quote terrorist organizations if it seeks uh, suits their ends and this end right now is to overthrow the independent government in Syria not because it's a perpetrator of, uh, of human rights or the absence of democracy that may be true but the US agenda is something else it's to carry out regime change and create a po proxy government in Damascus well uh, kind of furthering that along how legitimate is it for the US to even take sides in a full scale conflict like this one Well it, it's 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 completely illegitimate from the point of view of self determination this makes a mockery out of self determination but it's not taking sides i would have to say while the syrian opposition uh, has a popular base it's not cre uh, simply the creature of a foreign intervention there is a Syrian opposition that was formidable that opposed foreign interference, uh, foreign intervention. They didn't want that. They didn't want violence. Uh, but the U.S. and the Western powers and NATO and Turkey pushed that part of the opposition to the side in order to do what it is doing now, fomenting civil war, to carry out a military solution to the problems in Syria, to create in their, in their, in their final goal a proxy client regime in Damascus. Now, this information leak comes amid earlier reports that also suggested the opposition has been provided with heavy weaponry and surface-to-air missiles from its foreign allies, reportedly via Turkey. Now, how likely are the rebels to win this battle with all of this international support at this point? Well, uh, by themselves, again, they cannot win. Uh, the Syrian military is a formidable military. The Assad government isn't an isolated regime as it's portrayed in the West. They, too, has considerable popular base, uh, not just in Damascus, but elsewhere uh, in Syria.
But, you know, heavy weapons, surface-to-air missiles, and the combined pressures of sanctions and the attempt to whittle down or intimidate a Syria's international allies is designed over a long period of time through attrition, really, to carry out a break within the regime. Again, not for democracy, but to carry out in Syria what they did in Libya and Iraq, put into, govern into government a U.S. friend, a U.S. ally, a U.S. proxy. All right. Appreciate your thoughts there. Brian Becker, director of the Ent Thank Answer Anti-War Coalition. Thanks for being with us.